What's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add voice mod to your live stream. Now I'm going to assume that you have your voice mod software program already downloaded onto your computer. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add all the add and set up all the different audio that you need for your the voice mod itself your operating system so for windows and for obs so this will be for obs users now the first setting you want to do is you want to go to settings you want to go to your input section here and you want to have it set up as your headset microphone so whatever microphone you use to talk to people in game so that is the first step mine says xbox controller just because i have my headset plugged into my controller at the moment uh, now for the output, you want to have the same headset. So you want it wherever you're hearing your audio, that's where you want it. So that'll be, I assume, your headset. Again, it says Xbox controller because it's plugged in. My headset's plugged into my controller. Now you'll see this bouncing up and down if you have the proper headset set. Now for the second step, you're going to want to go to your operating system. So you're going to want to go to start. Then you want to go to the gear, which is the settings. Click on that. Go to your system, go to sound, go to sound control panel. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to make sure the voice mod is set to default. So it, mine's already default here. You can do it here, but you're also going to want to go make sure it is set up in here in the recording section. So you're going to want to scroll down or wherever it may be, voice mod virtual audio device. You're going to make sure that's set up as your default. So we'll just pretend that this is the voice mod here. Set as default device and set as default communication device. You should have no problem there once you have that set up. So again, make sure that voice mod virtual audio device is set up as your default. Click OK or apply and you should be well on your way. Make sure you do hit apply, by the way. Next, we're gonna go into OBS. I'm gonna show you what my settings look like in there. All right, so this is my OBS setting here. Right now, you're hearing me from my Yeti, so from my USB mic plugged into my computer. This mic is how I, com I communicate with my stream. So without the voice changer at all. So this is just my regular voice. Now, if we open up or, you know, allow audio to come through my headset. So the voice changer is actually my headset. You're gonna, you're gonna hear, hear, you're probably, probably gonna, gonna hear, hear an, an echo, echo, a really, really bad, bad echo. echo. So if you're wanting to chat with your game, you're gonna wanna have your Yeti microphone muted while having your voice changer or your headset microphone unmuted. Now at this point, the game and the stream can both hear both hear you through your headset. But if you want to play around with the voice changer, like we'll do here, I'll just select the baby voice. So this is the baby voice that you're using through the stream and the game. So this is what you want. Now I'll just go back to a regular voice here and I'll go back to the Yeti. Yeti. The Yeti probably sounds a little bit better for the video. And now the reason that I have the audio split up between the, the Yeti or the USB mic and my headset is because when I'm in a game, let's say I'm playing Warzone or Battle Royale and things are getting heated and I want to talk to my chat, but I don't want to disrupt the game. I want to have the ability to mute my headset so I don't bother players in the game, but I want to be able to chat with my stream. So that's why I have the audio split up. If you don't have a stream and you just want to, um, you know, mess around with people or whatever you're gonna do with the voice changer thing, um, you don't need to have the audio split up. So you don't need to have two microphones. Now I'm gonna show you what the audio settings look like in these three sections here. First, you're gonna wanna go to properties, right click. Sorry, I'll do that again. Right click on the gear, go to properties. And obviously this is gonna be set to the Yeti microphone. Click OK, so that's the Yeti, Yeti for stream. And then right click on the gear for the voice changer, go to properties, make sure this is set to voice mod virtual audio device. That is key. Click OK or apply, and then go to properties on the game or the desktop where the, where the game and the desktop audio is gonna come through. Go to properties and make sure that is set to your headset or where whatever speakers or wherever your game and your desktop come through. 
So mine's the head headset, I'm guessing yours is too. So just make sure that's set to your headphones. Now that should be all that you need to do for the voice changer for the settings. That's all I need to do. It took me a little while to figure it out, but I got it. A few other things I'd like to mention. Uh, if you are playing Warzone or or any game in here, you can go to the option setting here. I don't know if you actually need to do this. I don't think you need to do this, uh, but for whatever reason, if you're seeing this six or 12 months down the road and things have changed, you might need to do this. Uh, go into the Blizzard app here, go to Warzone or whatever game, go to the option section, go to game settings, go to voice chat, and you can play around with those settings in there. Again, your output device is gonna be your headset and your input device is gonna be your virtual, the voice mod virtual audio device. So I don't think you actually need to, to do that to be honest, uh, but you know, down the road, maybe you do. It's just a little tip there. One other tip. If you have everything closed, say let's say you restarted your computer and then you're gonna fire up your game and you don't wanna start playing. Make sure you have your OBS system open first, then open the voice mod, then open the game. So in that, in that order, everything should work perfectly. If you open the voice mod before OBS, it might not work properly, as well as you know if you have the game open first as well. So just a couple tips for you guys, things that I've run into. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, or you can contact me directly in my Discord server where you can DM me, and I'll try to do my best to answer your questions. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. One last tip that I forgot to add is if you're using the voice changer, make sure you have hear myself off when you're trying to use it. When you're testing things, you can have hear myself out on, but right now you're probably hearing an echo. So you wanna have this turned off. That's my last tip. Have a great day.